Your level of risk aversion or caution, if you prefer, is most like what other point in time since 1971? Well, um, it, it's not as much as pre layman and, uh, and PIMCO did very well pre layman in terms of anticipating the, the crisis. That's, and and that's post layman how, Yeah, that's how we went from one to two trillion dollars. We got it right. We, we weren't part of the big short, uh, but we were part of the big void, so to speak, in terms of subprimes. Um, so that, that was the most crisis-laden environment, which uh, you know, the Minsky moment was uh, upon us, and, and Paul McCulley at PIMCO uh, guided us uh, very well in that direction. But, but now I, I think it's, it, it's second, uh, you know, simply because of uh, you know, these secular forces that are coming together. You and, feel and the second most risk-averse today than you have over the course yeah, if, if only You're because correct. financial markets are telling you that there's not much reward. Uh, it's, it's obvious in the bond market uh, with negative yields that, that I've talked about, but it's not so obvious in risk markets and growth-oriented markets, certainly with uh, you know some of the high-flying stocks, but uh, they're all connected. And so uh, just an acceptance of that would suggest that the return uh, it is going to be much lower uh, and the risk much higher to earn that it, return. Yeah, it, it's not an attractive situation. Um, you know, instead of buying low and selling high, uh, you're buying high and crossing your fingers.